Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading. This is a love reading for March 12th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Gemini and this is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Please bear with me as I shuffle because I feel like shuffling is the way to go so that you guys can see stuff like that. It's pretty important, don't you think? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And it's hard for a Gemini. It is. It is. Because, you know, of the duality. I think that once you guys make, they make a decision, though, it's pretty well, yeah, you know, you guys do move, so. But that's the duality. That is, okay? Because, you know, that's what it is. Gemini is. You got both sides of every situation. So, I mean, yeah. One, and one, on one hand, you're uh, moving, and on the other hand, you're not. And that is part of it. Unrealized, unrealistic. Something is unrealistic. Somebody isn't focused on the future as much as they need to be. All right. Not, not well prepared. Not as prepared as they need to be. Lack of patience, perhaps. I don't have enough patience for this. Things aren't happening quick enough. I not exactly. Things aren't happening quick enough for me. See, they're falling out like crazy. And that's why it's so important to shuffle in front of the people, in front of the camera. You know, there's a lack of movement. Things aren't changing. Somebody's being unrealistic. Maybe it's because they're being, maybe they're trying to protect something. Yeah, they're trying to stop something from ending, perhaps. But it's time to accept the truth. Okay, there's a truth here. There's some sort of movement that is needed, okay? So, yes, I mean, this is this is this is card is perfect because it's like I need this to happen. I am ready for this change. I know that this needs to happen. I know that this needs to happen so that we can heal, so that we can get to the next step. But somebody's feeling left out, or they're left out in the cold. They're not they're not getting the the wish that they want. You know, they're not getting what they want. So it it really looks like there's been some sort of lie. Okay. There's been some sort of lie. There's been some sort of deceit from somebody that has made you feel quite let down. Okay. I feel like you're really, really let down and feeling like... You're at a dead end. You're at a dead end. You're feeling quite left out. This isn't what you were wishing for. This isn't what you were hoping for. It appears, you know, there could be, there could have been uh, two against one. Okay. There could have, and now it's like somebody has just thrown me away. Somebody has just thrown me away or they've thrown my, my love away. They've totally taken advantage of me. And now, um... 
you know, it feels as though you are starting to come up with a plan, starting to accept the truth of a situation, to regain control of your life. Okay? To regain control. I'm taking control now. Because it, it appears that there's been some kind of truth about perhaps a third party situation that has totally left you outside, you know, left you a feeling insecure and alone. But I think now's the time that you are deciding to free yourself from this. You're deciding, it's time, I'm done, I'm, I'm gonna accept this change. Instead of sitting back and being unrealistic about it, I, I see the truth of this situation. And I can't sit back and watch any longer. And in order for me to have happiness, I need to look at this in a different light. And I think that's what's happening. You're seeing something in a different light. And I think that you are probably getting creative, getting creative in envisioning a different future because wherever this was, was that, ugh, making you feel uh, alone and dead inside, okay? It feels as though <laughs> there definitely could have been a third party situation between a fire sign and an air sign, okay? And it feels like you may be holding on to the past you may be holding on to the past and needing to free yourself from one you need to free yourself from one of these people oh my god so that you can have stability and security you have choices here Gemini you have choices that you do you have choices here I mean, you have the King of Pentacles, the King of, of, of Wands, and the King of Swords. And there's somebody from your past. There's somebody from your past that is resurfacing. And I feel like you have to free yourself, because this is freedom. You have to free yourself from one of these people. That's why there's a third party situation. But I think it's, you need to make a choice. That Two against one, that's what, I, you need to make a choice between two people. Now, these don't have to be lovers. These can be children, because six of water can be children as well. Children, lover, whatever the scenario is in your situation. But it feels like you definitely have to make a decision, because this is a decision that needs to be made. You need to make a decision between two people. And you lack the patience. It's like, oh my God, I can't even deal with this shit. It's like, I can't. Things are out of balance. There's too much going on at one time. This is like extremes here. It's like things are at extremes right now. It's like a, there's a lot, so much indecision and um, lack of balance and lack of harmony that you just, you're, there's like a feeling of um, chaos in your head. You know, you have to do something. You have to do something about this. It's like, I don't know what to do. And it feels as though... For one thing, you don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone, but I don't know what to do. So it feels as though, you know, there could be, you, you have to let go. You have to let go of something. You're going through some stormy weather right now. I think that's what it is. You're going through some stormy weather feeling, feeling like overwhelmed. I think you're feeling overwhelmed. You're not enjoying life at this time because you have to make these decisions. I think that there's something going on that is extremely pushing your buttons. You don't know what to do. You may be feeling at, um, at a complete loss. I think things are happening too quick. 
I think you're you're getting offers of love or offers of romance or just you know you, you're dealing with some people that maybe two people that are very charming you don't know what to do you don't know who to choose um, it feels like you're dealing with um, something that is, is very challenging and intense you know you got some intense energies around um, some intense people in your life that are causing you some conflicts. You may feel like you're in crisis mode. You don't know how to make this decision, what to do next. Um, you may be feeling quite like, I need to get it. I need to just be alone to contemplate what to do next. I need to make a decision. I know that I need to make a decision. Something needs to change. This is too chaotic. I feel like you've been lied to by somebody and that's on your mind as well. And you, you're wanting to regain control because things are out of control right now. You're trying to regain control in your life. And you need to let something go, okay? I think there's some kind of heartache that is causing you some suffering, all right? You're suffering for some reason, but it's really bringing you some sort of growth. You're suffering over some sort of manipulation I think you've been manipulated by somebody I do I think you've been manipulated and somebody is keeping secrets they're being very sneaky you're dealing with somebody that isn't telling the truth and you just you don't know what to do it's like I've invested a lot I've invested a lot in this and I know that you are not telling me the truth somebody is not telling the truth and I think that you know it you know It's time for you to put yourself back on top and fight for what you believe. It's time for you to stand your ground because somebody is is filling you with bullshit. And that's what I see. It's like you know it and you know it too and you need to make a decision. Somebody is not telling the truth. There's something going on behind the scenes. They're keeping secrets. And I feel like, you know, you need, you're being called to act on your hunches. You are. I think there's an exciting new new discovery and you're being called to be confident and be courageous in this situation. Really make, try to, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision here. You can't just stay stuck forever. All right. It's like, there's a rejection. That's what it is. You have to reject one of these offers. You have to reject one of these offers. And I think you're suffering. I think you're suffering right now because you don't know which way to go. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. What am I going to do? You have to look at a new perspective. You do. You need to be open. You need to be objective to newness. Okay? Because there's a, this is a lesson that hasn't been learned. Okay? This is world card reverse. is a lesson that hasn't been learned. There's an emptiness here. Somebody is feeling very empty, feeling very incomplete, like there's been no closure on a situation. You have to close some door and go down a new path. I see that there's a new path. There's a new opportunity that's very exciting that's been presented to you. But in order for you to go down this path, you're going to have to complete a cycle with somebody else. That's what's going on here. Somebody that you have invested a lot of time in. You've invested a lot of time into something with somebody and it's been it hasn't been realistic. It was unrealistic. It, it wasn't meant to work out, okay? But you haven't let that cycle completely complete yet because it hasn't completed yet. You need to let this cycle complete and go down this new path. You need to be open to newness. You need to look at this from a new perspective and be open to change. You know, you have to let change come in to have wish fulfillment. And change is scary because we don't know. When we accept change, we don't know. We don't know. And sometimes it's easier to just stay stuck with what we know. But that's unrealistic, right? That's unrealistic to stay stuck with what we know, okay? It's not, it doesn't bring any growth. And I think that this suffering, this is suffering that brings true growth. And that's what's happening here. I think that you guys have been going through some sort of suffering over making a decision. Do I actually really, truly let this past go? Do I let this past go? Do I let this past relationship go? Is it really, really over? Am I ready to move on? Because I feel like you have this decision being offered to you between two people. And one of them is a past lover and the other one is a new lover. Which one do you choose? 
Now, if you are in a coupled relationship, this reading, and it's all good, this reading is not for you, okay? So this reading is for people that, whoever it resonates with, okay? That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, there's an emptiness here. Somebody is feeling really empty, dead inside, and it's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time for newness to come into your life. With that page of fire, I think there's a new opportunity being presented to you, and you're being called to be open to it. Be open to it. I feel like you're afraid of being taken advantage of. What if I go and they take advantage of me like the last one did? I think that you should go. It could lead to love and commitment. This is the Eight of Wands. This is get get going, move, get going, move fast. The Eight of Wands is also, and many people have forgotten this, the Rods of Love. Okay, so, and this is commitment, contentment, happiness. But you have to you have to take a risk. You have to accept the change to lead to this firm commitment. You have to love yourself unconditionally. Because where you're at right now, there's no growth. It's time to let something in. This is the death card reversed. You're holding on to something that is unrealistic. Fear of change. That's what the death card reversed means. Fear of change. Holding on. It's getting old, isn't it? It's getting old. It's time to let go of that fear of change. The same card. Unless you want to continue to feel empty and dead inside. That is the Knight of Wands. Inability to take action because of your fear of change. It's time to find the resources within you and this is the Magician card represented by Gemini. It's time to find those resources within you, all of them. To shed the old, shed the old, your old habits, your old ways, whatever is old that you're hanging on to. That's what the magician does. He uses his powers, his resources to shed the old, to bring success and passion back to his life. It's time for you to take action. This is take action. And accept this change that is needed. My advice to you is choose the new and let the old go. Talk to you later.